Hey, I'm Mike, I'm one of the co-founders here at WorkLouder, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can map your keyboard using input. Before we get started, if you run into any issues or have any feedback, you can always reach us over Discord or to our customer service at hello at worklouder.cc. Now, once you have your keyboard plugged in, you might wanna start off by downloading a preset. You can do this by navigating to the preset tab at the top of the window. To add a preset, just simply click install on whatever one interests you. That being said, the real power comes from tailoring your key map to your specific workflow. So let me show you to map some shortcuts with some examples. The easiest way to map a simple one key shortcut is to use the basic tab. This is where you would find all the keys on a full size keyboard. Think V for the selection tool in Illustrator or one on the numpad for a camera view in Blender. But let's say you wanna map a shortcut that has multiple keystrokes. This is when you'll wanna use the actions tab. Let's create two simple actions, one for copy and the other one for paste. To do this, create a new action, name it and give it an icon if you want. We can input individual keystrokes using the drop-down menu, but let's record it to save some time. Once it's created, let's save it and then map it to the key that we want. And we'll repeat these steps to make the paste shortcut. But what if we wanna make that one key do copy and paste? That's when we're gonna use multi-actions. Multi-actions allow you to assign different outputs to how you interact with that key. For instance, we can map the copy action to a single tap and the paste action to a double tap. You can also map regular keystrokes, media functions, and other keystrokes just by using the drop-down menus available. By the way, this works the same for any dial or joystick on your device. Speaking of which, you can activate the radial menu from your micro by simply moving the joystick. To customize the on-screen radial menu, just click it and start mapping. You can add up to seven tools using the plus keys on the top of the menu. As for lighting, you can change the backlight and underglow of your device with the lighting menu to play around with the effects and colors. You're probably in and out of multiple software, and this is when you're gonna wanna use layers. You can create up to six layers and assign it to a specific software and OS. So when you switch software, your device will follow suit. You can dictate which keys change the layers on your device, but it's best to refer to the guides on our website to see how your specific model works. Last but not least, we have profiles. Think of profiles like the folder for all of your layers. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if it wasn't, don't be afraid to reach out. I'm happy to help. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy creating.